I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on parametric equations. Now I've taken up a question from previous test paper. It is from the Cambridge International Examination, June 2017, their paper 9709, which is AS level. The question here is, the parametric equations of a curve are x equals to t cube plus 6t plus 1, y equals to t to the power of 4 minus 2t cubed plus 4t squared minus 12t plus 5. Part 1 is, find dy dx and use division to show that dy dx can be written in the form of a t plus b, where a and b are constants to be found, 5 marks. Extremely important question. So let's try to see how to solve such a question. Now, since we are given x and y, that is the parametric equations, to find dy dx, let's find what is dy dt and what is dx dt. Their ratios will give us dy dx, right? So the concept is that dy dx basically is equal to dy dt over dx dt, correct? So that is the concept. Let us first find what is dy dt. So since we are given y equals to t to the power of 4 minus 2t cube plus 4t square minus 12t plus 5 dy dt, we'll use the power rule to differentiate. We get 4t cube minus 3 times 2, 6t square, 4 times 2, 8 t minus 12, right? Now, we're also given x, so we'll write x as equal to t cube plus 6 t plus 1, that is given to us, right? So dx dt is equal to 3 t squared plus 6. So from here, we can actually find what dy dx is, right? So using this, I'm using lesser space, we could continue. But now we'll find dy dx as a ratio of these two, that is our equation number one and our equation number two, right? So in equation number one, we get dy dt as t cube plus 6t sorry, 4t cube, sorry, 4t cube minus 6t square plus 8t minus 12 divided by, so that is dy dt, we'll divide by dx dt, which is 3t square plus 6. Now to get this form of a t plus b, we should perform long division, correct? Or you could do synthetic division also. So basically, we need to divide the numerator by the denominator to get the quotient, which will be of the form of a t plus b, right? So let's divide. So now we have here, we need to divide 4t cube minus 6t square plus 8t minus 12 by 3t squared plus 6. Now the term t is missing. You could play, uh, use a placeholder here, 0t also, right? Now let's see how to perform this division. So we need to take care of 4t cubed. So I should be multiplying this by 4 over 3t, right? So we'll write it here. We get 4 over 3t. If I multiply by 4 over 3t, I get 4t cube. Now, 4 over 3 times 6 will give us, so this term, we'll just write 0 here. And here, we get plus 4 over 3 times 6 is uh, 2 times 4, which is 8, right? So we get 8t. Now, when you take away, what do you get? you get minus 60 square, I'm just squeezing in, and this is zero, and here we get minus 12. Now, multiplying by minus two, 
will give us minus 60 square minus 12 correct so the remainder now is 0 correct so what we see here is that dy dx is basically equal to 4 over 3 t minus 2 correct so that is dy dx let me just uh, highlight it we are going to use this in part 2 So the question here was first to find a t plus b so we get a and b values so from here we know a is 4 over 3 and b is minus 2 correct so that is our solution is it clear okay so let's move on and do part b where we are going to use this derivative dy dx equals to 4 over 3 t minus 2 right okay part b is The straight line x minus 2y plus 9 equals to 0 is normal to the curve at point P. Find the coordinates of P. So what we just found was dy dx was equal to, let's write down, 4 over 3t minus 2, right? So that's what we just found. Okay. Got it? So that's the derivative. Now the question is, the straight line x minus 2y plus 9 equals to 0 is normal. So normal means negative reciprocal slope, right? Okay. So now let's again look into this line. We are given normal is x minus 2y plus 9 equals to 0. Let's rearrange. So we get 2y equals to x plus 9 or y equals to half of x plus 9 by 2. So in this case, slope is half. So now, what are we looking for? We want this to be normal to the curve, right? So perpendicular to this will be perpendicular will be negative reciprocal. So we are expecting negative 2. So negative 2 basically should be equal to dy dx. Correct? So let's figure this out. So we'll now substitute this value of negative 2. Let's call this as equation 3 in our earlier equation, right? So we'll substitute dy dx as minus 2 here. So we get minus 2 equals to 4 over 3t minus 2. So that gives us 0 equals to 4 over 3t. And this is possible only when t is equal to 0, correct? So we get t equals to 0. Now we need to find the point P, right? I'm highlighting with red ink here, but that is not required to be done by you. You have to write your solutions in black ink as we have been doing. It is only for explanation purpose. Clear? Now let's find the coordinates of point P. So we'll use the given parametric equations. So I'll just copy these equations. X equals to T cube plus 60 plus 1 substitute T equals to 0, right? So we know x is equal to t cube plus 6t plus 1. And at t equals to 0, we give x equals to 1, right? So x is 1. As far as y is concerned, you can clearly see y is equal to t to the power of 4 minus 2t cube plus 4t square minus 12t plus 5 at uh, t equals to 0 we get sorry this is y we get y equals to 5 correct so the point p is basically what point p is 1 and 5 therefore point p is 1 and 5 so point p is a point where the parameter t has the value equal to 0 is it correct? So that is how we are going to solve it. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Let's go through them once again. We were given these parametric equations and we found the derivative by differentiating each one of them with respect to t. 
ratio dy dt over dx dt gave us the dy dx and we kind of did long division to find dy dx in simpler form 4 over 3t minus 2. Now we equated this to the slope negative reciprocal slope of the given equation since that is the normal to our curve which is minus 2 and found t should be 0. Substituting t equals to 0 we got the value of the point p x and y coordinates. So I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.